In Office 365, sometimes it becomes necessary to put what's called a litigation hold on an account. Let me show you how to do that and what that means. Let's go ahead and click on Admin. And it takes us to our Admin Center. And we'll click on Edit a User. Let's go ahead and click on Jane. And once this populates, we'll scroll down. And we're going to click on Mail Settings. Now let's scroll down to where it says litigation hold. As you can see here, it's set to off. Let's go ahead and click edit and we'll turn litigation hold on. So what this means is that if you have an employee where there's going to be a lawsuit involved, whether that person's suing the company or the company is being sued by a customer, or, you know, whatever the reason is, you don't want any email to be deleted from that person's account, but you don't necessarily want them to know that there's a litigation hold on their account. So this is a great secret way in order to keep that user from deleting anything from their email. So what we do is we put a litigation hold on. So the user can continue deleting email or purging email as they want, but it won't actually be deleted. So when we turn this on, we have a duration. So we can say how many days we're going to have this. Now, if you don't want to have a duration, you can just leave it blank. Otherwise, let's just say we're going to have this uh, litigation hold on for 14 days. You can also have a note it's, as well if you do want them to know that there's a litigation hold. And you can say whatever it is that you want, such as your email cannot be deleted even, even if you choose to try. <laughs> there we go. And then if you want, you can also redirect them to a web page. And when we're done, we can go ahead and click Save. And that litigation hold is now there and it will be there for the next 14 days. After 14 days, the litigation hold will be up and that person can once again delete and it will actually be deleted for real. Of course, you can go back in and edit this at any time. You can end the litigation hold earlier or you can change it to blank so it stays on permanently until you decide otherwise. And there it says that it might take up to 60 minutes for that hold to take effect. So if that person is deleting the email for the first 60 minutes, then it's possible it might actually be deleted. However, you still have the option to get that email back within 30 days by default, just because Office 365 does keep email for up to 30 days. So even if they try to purge it, it will still be there. Go ahead and click close when you're done. And close.